Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, the liveest one. Representing BK to the fullest. Gats I pull it. Bastards ducking when Big be bucking. Chicken heads be clucking in my bathroom. It ain't nothing. Ain't no Big be handling. With the Mac in the AC door paneling. Managing MC's options they can't breathe. Mad tricks up the sleeve. It's unbelievable. Today grow with D dub is in best I do or die. Home on the notorious B.I.G. We're Brooklyn at. Let's go. What's up, world? This is Grub with D Dub. I'm hitting these streets trying to find Cindy Eats. I came across this brother by the name of Real592 on Instagram. I love the way his food looks. And yo, we about to go meet with him right this minute. Follow me. Yo, Yo bro, Real 592, what's up, brother? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm good, brother. Yo, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming through, man. Come yeah, on, man. man. I'm day. What's up, brother? I've been thinking about you all day, man. <laughs> Waiting for that, that Sunday Eats, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm hitting these streets, keeping it real out here, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, man. Yo, this is your crib, brother, huh? I like it. Appreciate you. I love the, the work on the walls, man. The posters. This is dope. It's so dope. Appreciate that. I'm just take a look at your mind, bro. You got some albums on the wall, huh? Some old school albums. Yeah, man, I always grew up with old music in my household, so. Got a lot of inspiration right there. Got some Luther. Oh, wow. This is dope. Digging the crib, loving the crib. So, brother Adrian. Yes, sir. So yeah, I want you to tell the world, man, a little bit more about you, brother. Uh, uh what can I say about myself? Um, I'm an actor, I'm a photographer, I'm a mentor. I work with uh, young kids uh, between the ages of eight through 12. And uh, I reside here in beautiful Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, the heart of New York. <laughs> Are you from here? Uh, no, man. Um, I get asked that question a lot, and uh, I, sometimes I just don't know how to answer because I've been living in Brooklyn for about 16 years now. Uh, but I was originally born and raised in Guyana. Um, that's not to confuse with Ghana, which is in Africa. I'm from Guyana, uh, which is in South America. Yeah. So what are you cooking for us today? Ah, uh, we got some uh, Spanish style yellow rice, some baked beans, we got some steak, we're gonna grill some steak today, and we'll top it off with some uh, spinach. Oh, sounds good. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it, brother. <laughs> looking forward to it. Oh, you're gonna enjoy it. Trust me. So, um, I remember seeing you in some, um, some movies, uh, one called Frenemies? Oh yeah, Best Friend of Me. Yeah, that's one of the last things, uh, last projects that I did. Um, it was my first web series. Um, I got a call uh, from a mutual friend uh, that was working on the project at the time. And, you know, uh, the writer uh, pitched the idea to me and told me about the, uh, the, the, the role that he wanted me to play. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm not much of a, of a gangster or anybody that's, that's that uh, comes off as, as, you know, this thug, this strong person. But, you know, when you're an actor, you either gonna accept the role or you're not gonna accept it. And it doesn't so much matter about who you are personally, but who you can portray. And I think that's what makes great actors. So, nonetheless, I accepted the uh, position and uh, Best Friend of Me's took off, man. We got one season finished. We wrapped up season one. Um, in February, and we're working on season two. What's, what's, what's crazy is 
I didn't know where this project would have led me. And the crazy thing about it is that I've been writing for season two. You know what I mean? So I <laughs> didn't know I had that talent in me as well. So you asked, who am I? What do I do? I guess you can add writer to uh, my resume as well. So here's how this shit gonna go down. If you're trying to really do this, I can help you. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be smart, like I said. First of all, you need to apologize to your sister because you did her wrong. You need to get this Ronnie close. I mean, you need to draw him in. You need to fucking baby him. Apologize to him too. You want me to apologize to him? Yeah, I want you to apologize to him. Like I said, you got to be smart about this shit. If you want to kill this, treat him like a fucking kid. I mean, mm -hmm. baby the motherfucker. Get him to be on your side. So let's just switch things up a little bit, my brother. Yeah. Yo, so what music are you feeling right now? <laughs> um, man, that's a broad question, bro. Because, I mean, I don't really listen to one type of music all the time. You know what I mean? Um, and music is something that was very, very big in my household. I grew up with my grandmother. And uh, every Sunday, like, as we're standing here right now, I can just hear some Sam Cooke or some uh, Nina Simone coming out of the radio. So um, a lot of music that I listen to, uh, believe it or not, it goes back to that era. It, you know, your Otis Redding and your uh, Ray Charles and um, Luther and, you know, music of that, that, that era is what I really appreciate. But I also have a lot of respect for the work that's being done today. I feel like there's a lot of geniuses out there, um, lyrically, um, uh, engineer-wise. You know, there's a lot of great people doing a lot of great things. So it's not just one type of music, one genre of music that I'm ever listening to. Um, Monday, I could be listening to heavy metal to get my week started. Tuesday, I could go down to some blues. Wednesday, it could be some jazz, you know. So it's never one style of music. Okay, my brother, yo, so a brother that can cook, man. Mm. Are you cooking for any women right now? Or, or what's going on? What's going on? No, it, yo, you look like you got some skills, so I'm just like wondering, uh, brother. Man, I, I, the thing is with that, and it's funny you asked that question because I once had a friend um, that follows me on Instagram, and she often sees the stuff that I'm posting. And um, I saw her one time, and she joked, and she said, uh, you know, you, I know why you be posting stuff on Instagram. You be posting stuff so you can get the girls over. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, man, that's that's complete opposite of why I post. But it's it's so interesting to see how women think, you know what I mean? Because, yes, she was joking, but I'm sure that that came from a place of seriousness at the same time. But it's, it's so much more than that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a photographer, and uh, I love cooking. And those two things, for me, it goes hand in hand, you know. So when, I, when I'm when i done cooking and I put together a plate and it's, it looks very presentable, that's another thing, too. Like, I'm big on presentation, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I could be eating it. Nobody else is going to be seeing it. It's just me in here. But I just want to make it look fancy so I can take a photo of it. Right, right. You know? I so got that, you. That's all that that comes from, man. Um, the only girl I'm cooking for is my mom, man. <laughs> but uh, you know, I love to host as well, and my family is very big on hosting. Um, so you know, I would always uh, uh, welcome some company. I don't, I don't uh, oppose to that. So, ladies, check him out, Real Five Nine Two on Instagram. <laughs> Go check out his his food, his his skills, his presentation. And let me know what you think, man. Critique my stuff, cause that's that's how I'm gonna get better. You know, I mean, there's only so much that you can critique if you can't taste, but, you know, give me some pointers. I might become a better cook. I don't like to call myself a chef. I feel like a chef is somebody who has uh, uh, immaculate skills and uh, education. I don't have too much skills. I didn't go to school to be a chef, so whatever. So how long have you been cooking? I've been cooking for about 10 years, man. Um, and it didn't really get serious until I moved out of my dad's house and I had to start paying my own rent. You know, I had to decide, am I gonna 
eat fast food every day or am I going to learn how to cook better and, you know, try to save some of that money. So for about 10 years. And what was the first thing you, uh, you, you cooked? I think <laughs> you make a hot dog. What you what you doing? <laughs> Tacos. What you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> nah, man. I, you make spaghetti. What? <laughs> nah. When I got in the kitchen, I wanted to experiment. You know, so I felt like the first thing that I probably did was like some rice, regular white rice, and I feel like it was some chicken or something. I can't I can't really remember, but uh, my culture we eat rice all the time, man. So I know for sure that rice was definitely on that menu. <laughs> My dad actually is the one who I learned most of my cooking from. Let, let's talk about that, because you know we often talk about men not being able to cook. Um, but growing up in a Caribbean household, man, every single body in my family knew how to cook. And my dad was like the master chef. You know, my dad cooked better than my mom, and he still does to this day. So, shout outs to my old man, man. Still, still putting it down in the kitchen. Still doing this thing. But yeah, that's where I got my cooking hand from, you know? That's what's up, yeah. I popped up the cooking my family as well, man. So yeah. I learned how to cook through him as well, man. Yeah. So yeah. That's what's up. We're totally almost correct. ready. Almost ready for you. Do you have a favorite actor or actress? Or how about both? Yeah, I actually do have both. Um, I'd say Denzel Washington uh, is my favorite actor. Jolie, <laughs> the one that many people may not expect um, to be my favorite actress. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me why on both? Um, Denzel is just a cool guy, man. Like his whole swag is just uh, uh, something to see. You know what I mean? Um, the way Denzel carries himself in every single film that I've seen him, seen him. Regardless of if he's playing a gangster or a doctor or somebody that's trying to save his son's life, you know, he just has this, this aura, this, this, this swag about him that's just, man, like, I want to be like Denzel, you know, even if he's uh, an American gangster and he's, you know, killing people, it's like, man, I want to, <laughs> not necessarily kill somebody, but I want to have that swag, you know what I mean, so, um, Oftentimes we underestimate the powers of a woman and you know we just see a face, we just see somebody that's oh that's beautiful, uh, she's soft or you know. Uh, but Angelina is just all around better. So um, yeah. So uh so you like Denzel, right? So yeah, sure. I know you gotta have a part that he might have did in one of his movies that you love. <laughs> you know, can you reenact? One of his parts? Yeah, man. So Trading Day is like one of my the, the, the most loved films, man. I love Trading Day. And I saw it from a very young age. And I've been trying to perfect this from the time that I saw it, but I, I don't think I got it. But the scene is when they went back to his hood and the people in the hood was like trying to kick him out, push him out of the hood. And he just stood up to them and was like, You think you run shit? You don't run shit. Nah, nigga. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> That's, that part right there, I just I just love that, man. Because it goes back again to what I was saying. Like, Denzel, you know, his swag. Like, when you saw that, everybody everybody ran with that. You know what I mean? Everybody was walking around talking about King Kong ain't got nothing on me. So, uh, yeah. All right, D-Dub. Dinner is served. Oh, looking good, looking good. Looking yeah, good. Let me know how it tastes, man. Oh, it's good. good to see you. <laughs>
looks good. It looks good. Got the steak, got the beans. Tune in next week when D-Dub goes to New Jersey to grub with private celebrity chef of the stars, Chef Nico, for good grub and conversations. It's good food, good times, and good people. Grub with D-Dub.